Okay, quite comfortable 101 here, and what I've got for you today, again, is a second flight of the SEMA uh, X25 Pro. Um, the flight I did yesterday, or the day before yesterday, it was a pretty still day. Today we got wind, and I want to verify that this thing flies well in the wind. I remember the X8 Pro with its GPS system, if you had a bit of a breeze, um, it would go crazy. <laughs> it would start doing uh, toilet bowl effects, and it would just get progressively worse, especially if there was any wind at all. And we do have quite a bit of breeze today, so we're going to verify that that has been corrected with the SEMA GPS systems. And the other thing I want to do today is, uh, the day before yesterday, I didn't get a chance to fully explore um, the features that the app provides, the SEMA Fly app. And that is um, Circle Me, Follow Me, and also uh, Fly 2 Point. It also has a Fly 2 Point uh, ability. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I went over the features of this controller in that first review. So if you're looking for that, look up my first review, part one review, to see all the, what the buttons do on this controller. But again, today's focus is on the app. So let's go fly it and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the SEMA Fly app available on Google Play, iTunes, and also directly from SEMA's website. Uh, however, the version as of today, which is uh, or May 2nd, um, does not seem to want to connect with the drone. Uh, I had to download it from uh, SEMA's website, and again, the version on SEMA's website is in Chinese, but uh, it's sort of self-explanatory. Now, you're hearing some beeping. I think my batteries might be low on my transmitter, but we're still going to take off anyways. Uh, but before that we do that, I'm going to start the video camera recording, and that's done by pressing this button here. And we are recording, and I am going to uh, take to the air, and we're going to do a manual takeoff today by seeing if it does manual takeoffs, down and out, down and in. Down and in starts the motors, and down and in also starts stops the motors if you crash. So down and in, let's give it some throttle and check its position hold first off. And it seems to be working fine. Now, yesterday I did try to do um, follow me. And the thing is, with follow me, you need you need to be about 10 meters away. And I am going to get about 10 meters away until I see that red light change. See the 7, 8, 9, 10. And you got to be at least 3 meters up. <laughs> and how did I know this? Well, I deciphered these uh, screenshots using uh, Google Translate. Okay, now I'm going to lower the angle of the camera. That's too low. Let's go up a bit higher until I see me. There I am. And then I'm going to get into the picture, which is right about here. So we got to go back about a little further away, right about there, and go up a little higher. And we, the parameters are now good enough to do follow me. And here comes that breeze. And I am seeing a little bit of a toilet bowl up there with the breeze, but let's hit go. Follow me is activated, and let's see if it actually does what, it, what it's supposed to do, but mainly follow me. Well, I don't know about following me. It seems to be staying there. <laughs> it's just staying there, folks. So I'm not sure follow me has been implemented yet. Let's go up a bit higher. Let's cancel follow me again, and then we'll reactivate it, hitting follow me again. And I'm going to walk toward it this time, and see if it's following me. So, I don't think so, <laughs> it's staying up there. Uh, so all in all, I don't think follow me has been activated yet with this drone uh, with the uh, app. I think it's planned for the future, but right now it doesn't seem to be doing it. It's just staying up there. So let's bring it down and let's try the next feature, which is circle me or circle position. Okay, and for that let's go out in the center of the field <laughs> to be safe. Right about there. We'll point it toward me over here. And we're going to exit out of Follow Me. And selecting Circle Position, which is that second from the bottom. Now, it's, we have it set for 3.6 meters, 
uh, circle position and, and five meters, actually five meters diameter, or radius, and we are 3.6 meters up, and we're set for uh, clockwise rotation, and I'm hitting go now. And seeing if it's, we'll do it. I'm gonna give it some time. I'm not seeing it. What if I give it a nudge with the pitch roll? Nope, not doing it. So we're going to exit that. And finally, how about fly two point? Let's see, I'm going to give it a point to fly two. Let's move it there. And then hit go. And again, it's doing nothing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is, can this be flown using the app? I don't see any features to be able to select using the app to fly, but we'll, I am going to land it. Let's hit land. And let's stop that video. And see if we can take control of the app with the app some way. So I'm going to turn off the transmitter. Transmitter is off. And from the top, let's see if there's anything we can select that will enable us to use Follow Me or to, to enable us to control through this app. No, that's the geofence. I'm trying to back out of that. Let's hit start again, X6, X5 Pro. Maybe you gotta hit down this left button here. No. X25 Pro, start, and actually I don't see any means of doing it, of controlling this through the app. Okay, there's none of these buttons do that, except the return to home button seems to do it. But, um, let's hit go, see it. Nothing here. Well, Tell you the truth, folks, I'm not sure these features have been implemented yet in this quadcopter. I'm going to turn on the transmitter one more time. Rebinding. Taking to the air. Starting the camera one more time. Getting in the picture. So, and raising the camera up. And going up a bit higher, going back. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it one more chance. What I'm going to do is reboot the app from the very beginning. So let's land it. And I'm going to turn off the app and restart it. Hold on. Okay, I restarted the app. Restarted the quadcopter, restarted the transmitter, reconnected the transmitter. I'm going to back up some at least 10 meters away. So it's 10 meters away when I start, start the takeoff. Starting to take off and doing an automatic takeoff. Then going into follow me. And we're good there. Got to go up above three meters. And hitting follow me again. Go. Will it follow me? No, it does not. <laughs> so again, it does not seem that this app is completed yet. Um, is working yet. <laughs> they have it planned, but right now follow me does not follow me, circle me does not circle me, and fly two point does not fly to position. Uh, those are planned for the future, I guess, <laughs> but right now they're not working. Let's bring it down. Get me in the screen here and say, this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Here's a breeze hitting it. See how it's holding its position in the breeze? It's not doing any toilet bowl. That's good. So <laughs> it can hold its position in the wind, but uh, the features, advanced features on the app are not working as of uh, May 2nd, 2018. So hope you enjoyed this flight, Quadcopter 101, signing out.